you, Rob Lynn Live. I'm going to ask it until I'm blue in the face. I'm already red in the face, so I'll be blue before you know it. So do you, Rob Lynn Live, Greg Lakin. I believe you do. You're here every night. And Armin Hogue, I believe you do. And Carmela Schwartz, she's a Rob Lynn Liver from way back. So thank you, everybody, for being here. This is day 658. That's right, 658 consecutive Rob Lynn Lives. And uh, we're brought to you by the Rob Lynn Network. And we'd like to say to all of you, it's the 11th day of June, 2024. And you're tuned in to none other than Rob Lynn Live. That's right. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to the Rob Lynn Network presentation of Rob Lynn Live and Ali. The Wonder Dog. That would be Oliver Nakamoto Gorman. We put Nakamoto first because he's a good boy. He's been a good boy. He was a trooper yesterday at the vet and uh, got his uh, Cytopoint injection. He's on antibiotics for a little bit of a rash, but other than that, he's pretty healthy. He's down to 16.8 pounds. From when we got him, he was 25.3 pounds. So he's lost roughly eight pounds, and he is fit. Not just fit to be tied, he's just flat A fit. And that's good to see. He still likes to play ball at all hours of the day and night, and that is a good, good sign. Now, go to RobLynLive.com. Why do we say that? By going to RobLynLive.com. That will take you to Lynn Mie Nakamoto's registration page. You can sign up to be an affiliate there. And what that means is you get an O-mail with a password, of course. You get a O-net where you can have clubs, blogs, comments, videos, you name it, right there for you. You can uh, uh, communicate with people through there. And you get O-trim. And O-trim is the best in the industry shortener of URLs. So... That all being said, go to RobLynLive.com, <clears throat> and that will get you to Lynn's uh, registration page. Okay, that all being said, we're going to say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from St. Petersburg, Florida, high atop the palatial estate of Oliver Nakamoto Gorman. That's where we are. We're in Studio One. Studio One tonight. Uh, it is uh, adorned with a couple of computers and a couple of people. And uh, say hi, Lynn. Hello, everybody. All right, all right. She's here. I'm here. Ali Nakamoto Gorman is here. And we do have a topic for you tonight. Rather interesting. There's uh, yays and nays about it. We're going to give you an open-ended, uh, totally transparent view of AI and facial recognition. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people like it. There's uh, just as many, if not more, that don't like it. And we're gonna give you the pros, we're gonna give you the cons. We're gonna talk AI and facial recognition tonight. And that'll be followed by our now very, very, very well-known community time. Uh, nobody in the industry has a community time like this one where we bring on those of you who wanna come to the panel. We have a uh, panelist link, and we're able to have you click on that. It will pop up on Lynn's screen, and she's able. It's called a speaker, uh, uh, an additional speaker link, whatever you want to call it, and it will bring you right to the panel. You can put your audio on, your video. You can put both on. You can put neither on. You can just hang, whatever you want to do. But we want to hear from you guys because you are the voice of on passive you guys are what on passive is made of the ones the twos the threes the tens the twenties the thirties the hundreds and thousands of people who have joined on passive through on 
Passive dot com. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So, that all being said, let's mention this. We'll have the community time and a bit of signing. Uh, should we have any of our deaf community here tonight, whether it be Cecil, Rachel, uh, Patty, or Deb, not sure who'll be here. Even Robert comes by sometimes, so we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. Last night was great with the signing. We had colors. I really enjoyed the colors. Uh, I had to step away from the camera uh, due to uh, having to uh, use the facilities, but I did listen in the entire time, so it was cool. Very cool with the colors. Cool colors, as they say. And we will be lucky, I think, lucky enough tonight to have Mr. JJB Tin Man, also known as John Buddy. Uh, John Barilla will be here tonight, the Italian ver version, the Italian stallion that he is, with that. Uh, he's got quite a mane of hair these days. I, I don't know if he's uh, uh, growing his hair in longer for a, a part in a movie or a part on Broadway. Who knows? With that guy. You never know where he's going to pop up. A voiceover. You name it. That's our guy John. And John we appreciate everything you do. From past civilians. Uh, by all the webinars you attend. Uh, by monitoring. By being a monitor. A monitor. How about a moderator. Hey, hey. A moderator. This is what happens when you don't have your script. Right in front of you. Now I've got quite a few scripts in front of me tonight. Because we want to hit upon the good. And the bad. And the ugly of AI, the facial recognition. Okay, so that's what we'll be talking about tonight. Now, scrolling up, I'd like to say to all of you, please pray for Ash as he recovers from his uh, skin tag uh, surgery. Uh, he's probably, he's a week into the recovery, so he's probably done with recovery, at least from his standpoint. The doctor may say, hey, Ash, uh, let's give it another week, pal. You need your rest. But chances are he's already told the doctor, hey, I'm done. We're good. So send your love, light, and your prayers out to Ash Mafara and Ashmahan, his lovely wife, the boys Omar and Yusuf, as well as the tech media and support staffs around the globe for their good health and safety. Also, if you know of anybody who needs a prayer, if you know of anybody who needs your love, if you know of anybody who just plain needs you, helping one helps us all. So send out your love, light, and your prayers to anybody that might need uh, some comforting, uh, whether they be ill, whether they be uh, injured. Uh, whether they be down on their luck, up on their luck, you name it. Everybody needs support. So support your friends and neighbors through prayer, please. All right. And send out a little love, a little light, too. That goes a long, long way. Now, uh, we do have a few announcements tonight. We're not 100% certain uh, due to a lack of posting in the back office reference OP360. A rumor had it through the, through the grapevine that there would not be an OP360 for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, Ash is uh, recovering. Number two, uh, I believe uh, Mr. Johnson is on the road somewhere. So I believe he's in Kentucky visiting his uh, uh, grand uh, grandson or grandchildren and his son and uh, his daughter-in-law. So that all being said, uh, the 10 days extension has begun. Uh, for O Connectors, for all you O Connect subscribers, you've got more time. And it's free for the and me. The free trial extension for O Tracker continues. Now that's a free trial. It's all free. You can check it out on your in your OES. Now, migration without hesitation goes without saying, okay? Because as we approach uh, D Day, uh, which would be uh, our day of deliverance where we kick off virtually to the world and actually to the world, not virtually, but to the world. Uh, it's, it's, it's close. It's very close. Tonight, uh, Lynn and I noticed that it was very easy to make Chris Tiazone a host and a co-host on his multiple devices. And the ticker came up rather quickly. I was able to put the prompter on my screen with zero effort and the music background was playing very nicely. So, so and the uh, AI uh, video background, the video background was working fabulously. Yay. 
and that's good. And if you, as you can see, check this out, the colors, the blue, the red, the yellow uh, of Lynn and myself, as well as Ollie. The Wonder Dog. That's our boy, Ollie. Uh, 16 and a half on his way to 17. And the vet made a comment yesterday that he's got the heart of a puppy. I know I say it time and time again, but he truly is a remarkable dog. And for him to have gone from 25.3 pounds of uh, fluff and stuff down to 16.2 and being in shape, he's solid as a rock, that dog. And uh, that's good to see, good to hear. And uh, we love that boy. And, uh, you know, anytime he's uh, not feeling well, we don't feel well. So and, and I know all of you out there who are pet lovers, whether you be a dog, a cat, an amphibian lover, an alligator lover, uh, an elephant lover, whatever you got in your backyard, uh, cockatoo lover. Uh, we know that they, they stay deeply in your heart and mean the world to you as well. OK. Sign the NDA and the affiliate agreements. Don't hesitate on that. Come on. Come on. Pick up your uh, big boy pants and big girl pants and sign the NDA and affiliate agreements. You'll be glad you did because uh, you can learn while you earn. And that's how we do it at Roblin Live. Check out the On Passive YouTube channel. It's changing on an hourly, if not a daily basis. Check out the On Passive website. It's a dandy this week, and it does change every week, usually on a Monday or a Tuesday. All right. Log into your OES, please, and check the ticker and the back office for any pop-ups. And the reason we say this is with uh, things moving along so rapidly, we don't know what change is going to be next. So rather than guess, uh, we would rather you check it out on a daily basis basis please all right attend webinars and chats with time permitting you don't have to be a lynn nakamoto a rob gorman a melody marcano a john barilla who is ridiculous with the amount of webinars he attends uh to do that attend one a day one every other day whatever it takes for you to be in the know is how you participate in the show so stay tuned Stay alert, stay laser focused. And if you know of anyone needing help, if you know of anyone needing help, helping one helps us all. Helping one helps us all. And you can get anything that you want at Ashmafara's restaurant. And that's all true, every bit of it. And hop on an O-Connect when you can. You don't have to be on an O-Connect every day. Every other day is good. Uh, but if you want to be on one every day, be on one every day. No one is stopping you from that. Subscribe to O-Connect when you can. Subscribe to O-Connect when you can. And you'll be able to use both crypto and, not cash, but credit card and debit card again real soon. All right. Now, this evening's topic is AI and facial recognition. Uh, I will stand by for the moment and see if Lynn would like to say a few hellos. Okay. <clears throat> Go to the actual webinar chat. Say hello to the folks there. Thank you, John Gorilla, JJB, Kamash, for all those many hashtags. My goodness, very good job. And hi to Edith Okocha. Nice to see you. You're a regular with us now. That's so nice, Edith. And we have, oh, John says, thank you. I have so nice of you to say those nice things. But my hair is long because I just haven't gotten a haircut. But I'd love to grow it for a part I'm playing, but not right now. Jill, uh, Jillian Hannah is here in the house saying hello to her many friends. Hi, Don Swihart. Hello to, let's go up a bit. Les Hudson, he says, hello to all of my family. Hello to Debbie. I assume you're going to be teaching tonight, right? Let me know. And she usually, Debbie usually, um, she creates her, um, her sign list, and it's related to the topic tonight. 
So that's pretty cool. She sees that the topic and then she thinks of words to teach related to that topic. So thank you, Debbie. And I can give her one sign to begin things. Visual, visual, visual. Hello to Shyam Prakash Pandey with a nice greeting. Love our world, top great internet internet king and, and more. Thank you very much, Shai, Shayam. Nagaraj, of course, is here. Nagaraj Wasabi, he never misses the night. Thank you for your patronage and support. Brenda Ross is here saying good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to her on passive family. And hello to Rabindra Kumar Pradash. I hardly love Rob Lynn live webinar. Thank you, Sabrina. That's really kind of you. Michelle Weaver is here saying good evening to everybody. Hello, Michelle. And Greg Lincoln's here. He's uh, posted a whole bunch of hashtags. That's good job. Greg Lincoln. <coughs> I'm, uh, very good. Greg has been a regular since day one of Rob Lynn Live. I think he was around also for the Friday Night Live days and, and even days before that. Yep. And he's a stick to kind of guy. He's had computer issues and internet issues, but you know what? He's a real man's man because he does not take no for an answer. And we just want to shout out to you, Greg, that we appreciate uh, your sticking to uh, uh, joining us here on Roblin Live. It means a lot to us uh, for you to be a supporter. Very loyal. Hello to Mundrika Prasad. Who's greeting everybody? Hi, Mundrika. And hi to Ramshina AM. I see her every night. Thank you, Ramshina. I appreciate you so much. And let's go up a bit more. Who do we have that came in earlier? I see Amish Wara. Raul Nila is here. Welcome, Amish Wara. And I see Sabad PA, also a regular with us. Thank you, Sabad. We appreciate you. I'll go up a bit more. Oh, we have Prabhakar, who is here every night. Um, thank you, Prabhakar. Appreciate you. Uh, I think that's the bulk of it. They're probably with people that came in much earlier. Oh, Surrender Singh. Hi, Surrender. Surrender's here. I'll bet Sadananda Das is somewhere in the mix. Lots of love to Surrender and hello to Sita Weir. He said we'll be teaching tonight. He already gave me his word li uh, list. Thank you, Sito. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I see Ashish Kumar Kular is here. Welcome, Ashish Kumar. Um, scroll, scroll, scroll. Michael Chada, of course, is here. He created our lovely ticker that we are all enjoying tonight. Thank you, Michael, for all you do, and thank you for being a moderator as well. You do a lot for us. <clears throat> Very reliable. And, uh, you can always count on Michael. Um, I think, I, yeah, I got to the top. Let me scroll down to the bottom to see if anybody else came in since we, I was scrolling. And indeed, yes, Ola Sumbokuye, who says, hello, my global family. And let me go to the actual, um, the YouTube chat to, to greet. We have moderators hard at work. I see Michael Chada, John Barilla, Karina Lance is there helping out as moderator. Karina, Karina. Very, very reliable. Thank you, Karina. We appreciate you. I want to say a quick hi to everyone there. We have Michael, um, I'm sorry, I already said Michael. Hello to Irina Stiksala, Cheryl Best, Anuj Verma is here. Welcome. I'll scroll up a bit. Armin Holt, hi. Mohammed Abdur Rob is here. Welcome. We have Pedro Estrada there. Hi, Pedro. Pedro Jose Estrada Salatas. And I see Sarita Yadav. Hi, Sarita. She's very active in social media, especially Facebook. I see her lovely post. Good job, Sarita. I, of course, hello to Cheryl Best, if I didn't say that already. I hope you're recovering, Cheryl, from your uh, from your injury. Hope that you're, you're good now. Um, hello to Raju. How are you, Raju? 
And I see Santosh Kumar official. Hello, he says, hello, I'm past the family. And there's Gayatri Joshi. Hello, Gayatri, nice to have you. She's with us every night. Thank you, Gayatri. Brenda Ross is in the house as well. Hi, Brenda. I see next generation of AI. How are you, next generation? I see Nagaraj Gosabi. Hello, hello. These are all regular, you know. Jose Lucio with us every night. Thank you, Jose. Appreciate you too. Well, all right. Uh, why don't we come back to this in a little bit? There'll be more people hopping on, and we'll say some more hellos in just a moment. Okay, I think I reached I reach the top anyway. Okay, way to reach the top. Was it another new top by chance? <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's talk this evening's oh, topic. Sorry, one more person, Colonel Daniel Lee. Colonel in the house. Welcome, sir. We appreciate yeah, you. And Subash Sahu. From St. Augustine, Florida, the Colonel is. Yeah, and Subash Sahu is here as well. Yeah, so All right. people coming in up constantly. So we just try not to miss anybody. We try our very best. Brasahe Panda, hello. All yeah. right, all right, all right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Moving along, like Ayush from India says, this evening's topic is AI and facial recognition, okay, which at times is controversial. And we'll speak to uh, the terms of controversy uh, in just a few moments, while we'll also give you the other side of that coin, and that's the positive uh, outlook about uh, facial recognition. So there's the pros, there's the cons, and there's the in the middles. It's always, yeah, with most with most everything, especially something that's new. Mm -hmm. Now, while facial, facial recognition isn't new, the AI embedded version certainly is. So we'll talk a little about that. And we'd like to know, uh, Ali's question of the evening, what is your opinion of facial recognition? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Are you happy that you have it at your disposal? Let us hear from you. Uh, you can join the panel uh, in just a few minutes after we finish our little presentation, and we'd love to have you. And we'd love to hear from you on what your opinions are. Now, just how does facial recognition work? Glad you asked. It utilizes trained artificial intelligence models. Oh, yeah, models to extract facial features from an image and create a biometric template. Ooh, that's you on the big screen, so to speak. This, temp this template is then compared to other images or databases to identify or verify an individual by matching facial features and producing a similarity and producing a similarity score. That's how it's done. It's that easy, but it's also that much controversial and that much not so controversial. So we'll go down both the uh, uh, avenues with that. Now, accuracy and bias issues do exist. While the accuracy has improved greatly, it is not perfect yet. OK, it just ain't perfect yet. The error rates, the error rates are as high as 30 percent now. 30% is pretty high in terms of an error rate. So they're trying to get that down more and more. Now, before we go into any more that may seem negative, we want to tell you a little about the positives and where AI facial recognition comes into play. Okay. Mm -hmm. First off, security and surveillance. One of the most prominent specification uh, applications of facial recognition is in security and surveillance systems. AI powered facial recognition algorithms can identify individuals in real time from video feeds, uh, also from live feeds where you actually get a picture and helping in law enforcement, border control and public safety. So there's some really nice, good, solid uses. And we'll talk about the negatives too, but let's get, let's take the high road to begin with, shall we? All right. Access control. All right. Many organizations use facial recognition technology uh, for access control in secure areas. For example, 
uh, at MacDill Air Force Base. When you go into a room, whether you need a clearance or not there, they check you out either by facial recognition or your fingerprint. Usually it's facial recognition because they want to get the big picture, the big picture, okay? So that's uh, prevalent at, at the Air Force Base and other places where there's tight, tight security, okay? So that means there's access control in secure areas instead of traditional key cards or passwords. Ooh, so we don't have to punch a card in, put a card in to uh, open a door. It just takes a picture of us, and if we're on the list in the database, voila, we're in. And employees can gain access simply by their face being recognized by a camera. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, it's that's one of the nice things. It's a it's, good thing. It's efficient, and in the old days, I know employers had to watch for people who clock in for somebody else. So a coworker will say, hey, I'm going to be late today. Can you clock me in? So they would get the, the what is that, the card, the, the clock in top clock card, and they would clock in for somebody else. So that person was actually late, but they clocked in. The time them. card. Time card, yeah. But they don't do that anymore, right? I don't think it can. It's not around anymore because everything's digital. For example, at the hospitals, not only do they have the facial recognition, on the ID card is a chip. And that chip identifies who that person is. So someone who may have picked up someone else's ID card, if it doesn't match, ah, ah, it's not going to let that person in. So that's one of the good things. One of the grand things about this AI embedded facial recognition. Now, also on personal devices, smartphones and other personal devices increasingly are offering and utilizing facial recognition. And uh, let's give a few examples there, if I may. Uh, let's talk about when you're banking. When you're banking, uh, they use, and uh, you don't have to use it, but they use facial recognition or ID recognition uh, as a second way to verify who you are. And it's accurate because they match it to your uh, either driver license, passport, or state or government issued ID. Good stuff there. Now, with personal devices, there comes a feature where you can unlock the devices. You can make payments and you can access sensitive information using only your face. Now, how cool is that? That's being good. able to do that yeah. so that's some of the good stuff it's we've good. got more it's good because no two people have the same face correct it's just like a fingerprint no two people have the same fingerprint and even if you're a twin you don't look exactly alike even if you're identical twins there's going to be something either in your fingerprint or your footprint or your eye recognition if they do uh, one of those an opti optic recognition i'm sure they can um, differentiate twins. That's true. Well, then there's marketing and advertising. Some companies use facial recognition to analyze uh, the data of customer demographics and behaviors. Ooh, checking you out. This information can be used to personalize marketing messages and improve the effectiveness of advertising campaigns. Now, that's important because you know what? Saving time saves money, and that's exactly what that does. It saves time, and it saves money. That's in marketing and ads, advertising. Wow. Good. Then let's continue on with some more good stuff. There's healthcare. Facial recognition technology is being explored in the healthcare field. Where you might ask, well, various purposes. First off. Patient identification, oh yeah. Monitoring patient vital signs, oh yeah, again. And detecting signs of certain medical conditions. Right here, right now, in the healthcare field. And uh, such things like that would be genetic disorders or neurological diseases. So, all that uh, as a result of AI embedded Facial recognition. Facial recognition. All right, all right, and all right. 
All right. Then there's education. While we're talking positive, let's get after it here. Education in educational settings. Facial recognition can be used for attendance tracking. Ooh, Johnny's not here today. We didn't see his face in chair number six. <laughs> Ooh. So that it can be used there. It can be used to monitor student engagement. In other words, if you're the guy in the back of the room and you're not raising your hand or the girl in the back of the room and you're not raising your hand, guess what? Facial recognition's gotcha. They gotcha. And it will identify individuals as well for security purposes, which ain't too shabby. Uh, yes. Okay. Then there's ethical and privacy concerns. Uh, before we get into that, I'd like to talk about a couple other things, and then we'll talk about some of the negative, but there's so much positive here. Uh, education, we talked about the facial recognition for attendance and, and monitoring engagement, and also identifying individuals for security. So that's, I wanted to mention that again, because with the advent of what's coming with Academy, it's gonna be very secure, very, very secure. All right. Whew. There are concerns, okay? Uh, don't let anybody kid you. There are ethical and privacy concerns when it comes to AI embedded facial recognition, all right? The widespread use of facial rec, as it's called for short, has raised significant, has raised significant ethical and privacy concerns. Well, critics argue that the technology can infringe on someone's rights. Yeah, that's true in privacy and lead to mass surveillance, which we really don't want if we can avoid it. There are also concerns about the accuracy of facial recognition when it comes to the algorithms, particularly when it comes to recognizing individuals from minority groups. We don't want any biases, 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 uh, when it comes to uh, AI embedded facial recognition. Okay, it used to be, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Lynn, that it depended on the skin tone, whether it be a dark skin skew or a bright white for Caucasian, uh, there was biases there. Well, that's all being eliminated as we speak. So that is good stuff. So that's one of the biases that is being eliminated by the advent of the newest in technology. So oh. overall, while face recognition technology offers all of these benefits we gave, it also prevents those significant challenges. But you know what? There's not a challenge too big, not a mountain too high that we on passive on passivians, on passivians uh, cannot uh, climb and overcome. So it's all of our responsibility, okay? Don't say it's John's or it's Joe's or it's Ash Mafar's. It's each and every one of you's responsibility to act responsible, especially when it comes to AI embedded facial recognition. True, very true. <coughs> I wanna mention a couple other points and then we'll uh, conclude and move along as uh, Mr. Uh, Ayush says, we'll move along, moving along. Uh, the error rates are as high as 30%, okay? But that's getting better by the day. In, in other words, one in three used to be the, you know, that wasn't a very good gold standard, but now it's getting higher and higher. Many conditions contribute to the lack of accuracy. Let's take a quick peek. And I know we're hitting upon a lot here, but I'd like to take a quick peek. Uh, but first, I'd like to say thank you, uh, merci to Irena Stexala, our first girl, for that super sticker. Thank, thank you, Irena. Thank you, Irena. Very nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we mentioned uh, many conditions contribute to the lack of accuracy, and let's talk about those briefly. Camera quality. If you ain't got the best camera doing the ideal recognition, visual recognition, you're going to have an issue because it could get thrown out in court. If you, for example, had the wrong person detained and um, uh, through AI embedded uh, facial recognition, that could be a problem. 
that could be a problem. So uh, the angle of the camera is important. The lighting conditions are important. It all goes, it all adds up uh, to making this uh, the best thing it can be. So there are privacy and civil liberties concerns. Now, I'm not a civil libertarian. Uh, I'm not one of those, okay? So included here in as far as the privacy issues are the following. Unconsented capture and storage of the biometric data. If you don't want Big Brother looking over you and, you know, using the AI embedded facial recognition, just shout it out. Shout it out. The louder we can shout, the better it is. Okay? So, inaccurate ID by law enforcement agencies. Don't tell me this doesn't happen where they get the wrong guy. They arrest the wrong girl. They arrest the wrong grandparent or auntie or uncle. Well, it does happen. It does happen. And included here are the unconsented capture and storage of biometric data. In other words, erroneous information. Inaccurate by law enforcement agencies, which that can happen, can make a you know, mistaken identity. Mm -hmm. Unregulated use enables mass surveillance. And that's not what we want. We don't want camera, camera everywhere, tell us, tell us, tell us, do. We just want it for the specific ID purpose. Harry is fresh Schneider is with us. He's funny. He says, don't know why I need facial recognition. I recognize my face anywhere at any time. Uh -huh. All right, Harry. We got you and you got your sense of humor, brother. Nice Thank you. Thank you for that. Nice to have you, Harry. All right. Now, what's going on, though, is we have auditing of the AI embedded uh, uh, facial recognition uh, equipment to mitigate biases. In other words, whether you're light skin, dark skin, uh, extra light skin, um, uh, pink eye, red eye, blue eye, green eye, brown eye, hazel eye, it doesn't matter. They're auditing this whole situation to mitigate any biases and get rid of them. Okay, it's going to get better by the day. Then there's public education on how facial recognition works. How important is it for you to be tuned in, to be laser focused on this subject? It's important. It's important. It's not one of those backdoor policies, you know, that you need to just push it to the side. No, 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 no. So auditing to mitigate biases public education, how it works. It's important that the general public, JQ public, John Q public or John Quincy public, mm -hmm. know exactly what's going on with facial recognition. All right. I think you're going to see more and more of it at the airports as well, where they compare the boarding pass to the person's ID. I think that's coming real, real soon. So, in summary, and I know you've been waiting for the summary rather than the meat and potatoes here. While there are benefits to facial recognition, they outweigh the negatives right now. Okay, there are negatives, and we mentioned some of those to you. But you know what? It's good to be positive. It's good to be on top of your game. And with the use of the AI embedded facial recognition, you will be on top of your game. So thank you for listening uh, and watching my facial expression. When I get a little bit carried away, I get a little bit red behind the gills. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. And do bear in mind the positives do outweigh the negatives. There are negatives. Don't get us wrong. But you know what? There's more positives. There's more good stuff that comes out of this. So we want to hear from you guys in the panel. We want to hear from you guys in the community. And we want to hear now, not later, but now. So I think Lynn is going to go ahead and activate the speaker addition button. Certainly. And once she does that, uh, we'll be able to bring you folks in. And guess who's going to say howdy to you? Oh, yeah. Yours truly, Roberto. Roberto Jalopka. That was our family name years and years ago when we came from Czechoslovakia. And I want to acknowledge that we got
Karina, Kushal, Michael, John, and as a moderators at the moment, and Roy Davies. So we got all five of our, of our um, regular moderators hard at work tonight. That is good stuff all the way around. Did you get their facial recognition though before you let them moderate? <laughs> and what I like about the moderators is that people get to know them. You know, when you come every night or even if you come periodically, you recognize the moderators and you know that they're going to greet you. And if you need any help, they're there for you. And if there are any bad element in our chat, which happens once in a while, not much anymore, but when we do have trolls, etc., boom, they're gone. Those moderators don't play. I mean, when if there's bad stuff going on, they'll hide those that person's comments. So thank you very much. We appreciate. No, that's much appreciated, and that makes for a much smoother operation here. If you oh. notice, everything flows at Roblin Live, doesn't it? Yeah. Because you know when you have trolls or people who are inappropriate, it really uh, detracts from the program of the webinar. And we want everybody to focus on the content. And we appreciate our moderators for what they do. They make a big difference. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and uh, we hope that uh, you folks are uh, all enjoying tonight, getting a little bit of uh, value out of what we said. Uh, every night now, we're having an AI uh, topic, something to do with AI. We hope you're enjoying it. We hope you're getting value. Uh, we hope we're not boring you. Uh, we do try to, uh, you know, say those things, those important things that may stimulate you to think about something. And that's all good. Mm -hmm. uh, learning is okay. It's okay to learn. It's not a four letter word. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to pick up a little here, a little bit there. So that all being said, I think it's time to bring on the community. What do you think, Lynn? That's a good idea. And here we go. Look at the ticker right now. Thank you, Michael, for the ticker we use every night uh, for, that describes the show. And he also created this one that we use every night as well. To be a panelist, all you have to do is click the speaker request icon. We will see that you want to come in and we will let you in. So we're going to enable that function right now. It's just that easy. Yes, hopefully it's working. Oh, it's, it worked real fast tonight. We've got Cecil. Cecil, I see he's coming. Welcome, Cecil Weir. And we got Jillian Hanna coming in. JJB Tinman, John Varela coming in. Greg Lakin, welcome. I see Deborah Long. Deborah's coming. Hi, JJB Tinman. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello, hello. We got Mel Marcano coming in. Hi, Deb. Hi, Cito. And we have Elizabeth Badi from PNG coming in. Hi, Mel. Hi, Jillian. PNG is in the house. Yeah. Is that Procter and Gamble or is that Papua New Guinea? And Rachel's here. So we have many, many deaf tonight. Yay. All right, all right, all right. We love it. We love it. Come on down, everybody. Hi, Rachel. All right, we got Don coming in too. I see so. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see who else is coming. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Diana coming in. That's our favorite brother, our favorite monk from none other than Brooklyn, NYC, New York. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Diana. Good evening. Namaskar. Good evening to you all. Namaste, namaskar. Namaste, namaskar. Namaste, namaskar. Good evening. Love you all. Hi, great Lakin. All right, look at this panel, man. They look pretty good tonight. I I think they're looking good. Very nice, Greg. <laughs> and also coming in right now is David Switzer. Switzer in the house, the guy from Kansas City. Woo and Patience Oseware coming in. All right, Oseware in the house. Miss Patience is here. So that speaker request feature is working just fine tonight, as you can see. It's Wait, hi, David. And I made a comment earlier that they made some tweaks. I was saying that to Chris Tiazone. Oh, okay. And they have done some tweaks. Let me just mention a couple if you guys ever are hosts or co hosts. Uh, they've uh, uh, enabled and made it a better function uh, to make someone a co host. 
or make someone a second host. They've made it very easy. And not only is that easy, it is easy to see each and every one of you because the quality of the video is getting better and better. I don't know how it's getting better than this, but the quality of the video is just extra dandy, extra dandy. There's the one and only Elizabeth Bonday. Thank you, Elizabeth. Excuse All me, right. Lindham, we are in YouTube. Uh, we are Hello, on Lynn. the Hello, YouTube. Rob. That is correct. Hello, Thank everyone. You. Yeah, I, I just uh, right now send you a super sticker. Thank you. All right. Oh, I, I don't have my phone. I'm going to go get it. Thank you very much for that super sticker, uh, uh, my brother, my friend. Uh -huh. Thank you. We'll watch for it. We are there. We will watch for it. Thank you. That is good stuff. I'm going to get my phone right now. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's look in the chat, see what's going on. Oh, thank you, Gianna, for your super sticker. It appeared just now. Gianna, thank you. When you come back, I'll say thank You're you. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. That's kind of you. Appreciate it. All right. So let's see now. We've got, um, wow, 76 of you here. 76, and we just started. That's great. And in there, in our YouTube, we've got 48. So 125 or something. I can't count really well, but around that. So that is a great turnout. Thank you all. We have Rahul coming into the panel. R-A-H-U-L. Rahul. Welcome, Rahul. We invite all of you to come to the panel. There's a whole bunch of you who are attendees, and we want you to feel comfortable to hop onto the panel. You don't have to necessarily turn your camera on and neither do you have to speak. But it's a beautiful experience to be on the panel. And we wanna say hello to Goti Mokula. Goti Mokula, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Good morning to you. Hello to Juliana Mbambo. Sukumar Biswas is here. Hello to you. Uh, we have Nilad Waj Banerjee here. Nilad Waj, welcome. He says, good morning from India. Hello to Bilas Chakraborty. Nice to have you, Bilas. Thank you for being with us. Angela Lilan, uh, they have been very knowledgeable, Rob. Never a boring moment, says Angela. <laughs> and we have Juanita Slack in the house. Yeah. Hi, Juanita. Hello to you. We uh, have, yeah. um, Oh, John Barilla, he says, sometimes my evil twin gets bored, but he's boring anyway. Uh -huh. Hi, Greg Hill. I see you in the chat. Rachel, she was commenting in the chat too, Rachel. Uh, Elizabeth Bade was in the chat commenting as well. Do you realize we have 59 people in the chat on YouTube? 59. Oh, 59 went up. Right now. Very good. That's a good turnout. Very good turnout. And if I may, if you haven't already said Aisha, it, we have Aisha. 75. Wait a minute. 134 already? Are you absolutely freaking kidding me? 134 people. Very good. Not too shabby, kids. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Like I said, hi, patience. And hi, Greg Miller. And who else can you think of? Hi, 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 hi. I see Telion is here, hi, Roy hi. Davies, of course, and Karina, Karina. And I'm going to go ahead and upload the image, the background image for tonight. If you choose to use it, it's going to be right there on the, right in front of you. There you go. Does everyone see it? I sent it to everyone, speakers and non-speakers as well. Feel free to use it as your background tonight. It's really pretty. Yeah. And in addition to that, I just want to let everybody know that the virtual hand appears to be working. Uh, Greg Lakin, we see your hand. Just give us a couple more minutes to wrap it up here, and we'll hear from you. But to, yes, the virtual hand appears to be working. I want to say hi to Habana Route. Habana Route, welcome to our show. We appreciate you. And I see Mohammed Rafi Kipi is in the house as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lisa McBride's here. Danish Iman is here. All on YouTube. And we got four more coming in to the panel. It's going to be a nice, great panel tonight. Hello mm -hmm. to Harry Breschneider. He's coming in. Everybody, welcome him back. 
he hasn't been feeling well, but I'm so glad he feels well enough to be here tonight. Edith, nice to have you on the panel, Edith. She's usually in just the chat. Sarija, John is here, and we have Greg Hill coming in. Beautiful panel. Wow, what a panel tonight. Okay, now I'm knocking everything over here. Fortunately, everything had a top on it, so I didn't spill anything. Just can't get good help here, can you? All right. Wow, look at this panel. Beautiful it's panel. exceptional. We have two more people coming into the panel. We have Deborah Lam. I guess you got Buddha. She's coming back. And we have Mistress Fuara. Mistress Fuara, welcome. Harry, looking good there, brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome from Hi, Canada. Harry. Hope you're feeling better, brother. Well, it's good to see you. I want to say that and a lot of people have asked about you all the time. Just so glad, just so you know. We're glad you're hanging out with us tonight. Thank you. Yeah, it's not a bad place to hang. That's for sure. All right. Are we ready to start uh, uh, with the hands? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the eyes have it on that. Let's start off with Mr. Greg Lakin from Vermont. Be sure you have, remember, remind me of the question. So oh, mm -hmm. and the question of tonight is... The question up tonight is about AI facial recognition. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, are you worried it's an invasion of privacy? Are you happy that it is secure and, uh, you know, helps keep us all secure? Let us know what you think about that. Hello, patients. I see you. All right, all right, all right. Well, I'm ready to go to Greg, am I not? Mm -hmm. Oh, and if I didn't mention, I think I did, OP360, we're not sure about it tomorrow, either a time or if it's even going to happen. So do check the back office, okay, and spread the word to uh, all of your uh, uh, fellow on Civilians, if you would. Hello to Greg Hill from the United States, San Juan Islands, to be exact. Welcome, sir. All right, all right, all right. One, no, oh my. That's a four times a two is eight. And uh, eight, 16, 17, 18, 19 on the panel, not two. Shabby. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we're ready for you now, Greg. Go ahead, unmute. Okay. Um, I don't know who I'm well, I, no, no, um, oh. as my, as I, um, I, I I think that is the negative. What was that? Say that again. What what's a negative, Greg? You broke up. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Well, then I I can be heard. Yeah. Um. Why well, I, I oh, don't now have, we lost um, your volume. No. Your audio, no audio. Oh man. Refresh. Refresh, Greg, and we'll give you another shot in just a second. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we see your lips moving, but I'm not a lip reader. So we'll come back to you. No problem. He's refreshing while he does that. Let's uh, go all the way to down under to Jillian. Go ahead, Miss Jillian. Jillian Hannah, go ahead and unmute, please. Hmm. Hello. Hi. Hi, Rob. Hi, Lynn. Hi, everyone. I was just unmuting the uh, Go ahead, Jillian. Uh, someone... You appear to be unmuted. Oh, oh hello? I can't hello. hear you. Hi. Wait a minute. It may be right here. Wait a minute. Can you? I think it's right here. We can hear you. Oh, you can well, go hear ahead, me Jillian. Okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. I was just unmuting huh. somebody else's okay, so speaker. Maybe this that's is one of those lights where if you unmute, and we cannot hear you. It's probably best that you refresh. Try everybody. Try refreshing. Feel free to refresh. Doesn't cost us anything to refresh. So be liberal in your refreshing. And hello to Anuj Kumar. Welcome. So go ahead. Kumar, try it again, Greg. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, I guess. Um. Refresh. I can well like see my my uh, thing here, so I I guess I'm audible. Uh, let's see, is Greg here in front of me? He's right there in front of you with his hand raised. Greg who? Greg Lake. Oh, there he is. Okay, 
Uh, Greg, we can't hear you yet. No sound. And we couldn't well, hear I, Jillian I, I either. Have, um, Go ahead and refresh well, if you haven't uh, already, Jillian. I'm here. I'm hearing him. I think it just yeah. needs to get closer to his mic for one thing. If he speaks a little louder, we'll hear him. The cause and refresh. Well, I hear Greg. I, I, I have, well. um, do, if, I can you hear him too. It sounds I, okay to me. Hear, uh, Lynn and myself at all? If you hear us, put a thumbs up. If you can hear us. Thumbs up? Hear us? Yeah. Not hear yeah us. I, I'm wrong. hearing everybody. I'm hearing everybody. Maybe you guys aren't hearing us. Oh, okay. Let me let me refresh. <laughs> Well, um, the thing um, okay, about hear us um, now? can you hear us? Yeah, yes. we can hear you, can and you I can hear Greg. Greg. We can hear. I can hear both of you. Yes, I can hear. Can you hear me? Uh -oh. John Barilla. Yeah, we don't hear can John hear either. Oh, it's on your end. It's on your end. Yeah, it must be because I hear John I, too as well. But no world. I hear John. Yeah. I heard, Let me try my right. I'm going to write in the chat and to see. Uh, Brenda says, I can hear you, Greg. I'm going to write. Can you hear Rob and I speak? Well, um, anyway, um, I, um, I, I don't have the... Um, I can't get on um, the, the whole system of um, with the, um, my... My cell phone is, I can't work it out here, but, um, technology, even without, um, um, is, um, very effective. I, 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 I mean, I went back, uh, after I was refreshed within seconds rather than a few minutes. Well, that's good stuff. Greg, can you hear me right now, by chance? Yes. You're good. All right. It looks like we fixed it. It was our speaker, not yeah. anything to do with what you guys had. So we had to refresh twice. And, uh, right. We, and right. We're, we're back in business. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for that, Greg. Let's now go to Jillian again. Let's give it a shot there, uh, Miss Jillian. Hi. Um, yeah, I just refreshed. Can you hear me okay now? You are uh, quite audible, very audible. That's, that's good. Um, yeah, well, I, I think that AI and facial recognition are excellent in my opinion. Um, it's got lots of pros and it will get better and better all the time, like what you were saying, Rob. And um, especially with security and peace of mind, to have Face ID when logging into your iPhone and different apps, it's reassuring that AI is there to protect our identity with our important information. And um, so we really, we really are relying on facial recognition to unlock our smartphones and other devices and to verify who we are when we travel from one country to another. And um, that facial recognition is an application of AI and it's one of the advanced forms of biometric authentication that can identify and verify a person instantaneously using facial features in an image or video from a database. Um, I think that this technology is a great advancement and O-Verify -verify, o -ver -ver will be verifying our documents and using the facial ID as well. And I know that facial recognition technology is being used in shops, at airports, hotels and venues and also major places to identify people for security reasons too. <clears throat> and um, that facial recognition identifies and verifies images containing people and uses machine learning, ML, 
and continuously improves accuracy by adapting to lighting, angles and facial expressions. And it also seems to be everywhere now and it's helping our lives online and offline. Um, it can also um, pick up, um, it can also um, identify people who are suspected of committing crimes. And I think in crowds too, it monitors people in certain places, for example, in shops or buildings. Um, so it can monitor for, for theft or just to see who you are and what your, what, what your, um, like what's your motive, why you're, why you're actually there for. Um, so it's beginning to be used for purchasing. Oh, one thing I saw, yeah, for purchasing items at shops. I don't know if this has actually come in now, but I did see an app with facial ID and people could go into the shops into any... I, I don't think it's in yet. It might be in some countries, but... People can go into a shop and use an app and whenever you put an item into your shopping cart, the AI in the app um, recognises what you've selected and it adds it all up for you, the expense of all the items that are in your cart. So by doing that, um, it's eliminating the checkout process but I don't know if it's actually, I don't know if it's actually in anywhere yet. All right. Well, thank you for that, uh, Jillian, very much. I'm sorry we had those audio uh, troubles earlier, but we're loud and clear and you're loud and clear as well. So now uh, as we continue on with AI and facial, that's right, facial recognition. We're going to Canada again for Melanie Marcano. Go ahead, Mel. And I saw your virtual hand, by the way. It's working fine tonight. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Lynn. And good evening, everyone. Yes, it is so much faster tonight. Um, and it looks nice and bright and clear. So that's it. They are working. They are, they are working. <laughs> and even the background in the and passive.com is changed, it's different. Uh, facial recognition is, I have a little con as well, but um, they're used in hospital, like, you know, hospitals and sometimes medical area for uh, medical treatment actually. And one of the things they use it for is to detect um, genetic disorders. So when they, they examine facial traits and uh, facial recognition software, it can, in some cases, determine how specific genetic mutations caused a particular syndrome. I guess syndromes like, you know, the Down syndrome and there's many other types of syndromes. So it is used um, for better, better medical treatment. So... That's one of the things. But my question, you know, sometimes in places there's twins, there's triplets. Mm -hmm. There's even quintuplets or quadruplets. What? What if? And, and sometimes they're identical. So they all have that um, recognition thing. What if they mistake one for the other in certain things? For example, crime-wise, they don't have to be criminals, but what if it's a what if a mistake happened and because they're identical they mistake margaret for mary or whatever uh, it just popped in my mind you know like um i know it's a good thing but i know there's also there's always a pro and a con when it comes to certain things i know it's overall good for for us however it just popped in my mind i don't know if anybody would agree with me because they're identical people, twins and more. I think that's one of the drawbacks, as you say, and I mentioned that earlier, that there can be lookalikes, and a lookalike is certainly a twin. Uh, I think the only way that would uh, differentiate them, other than a fingerprint, might be a retina display. In other words, 
uh, if the AI embedded uh, uh, facial recognition actually did a retina, uh, because everybody's retina is different, just like everybody's fingerprint is different. So that's a thought. I'm sure they're working on that because uh, we're not uh, here at On Passive and here at Robin Live. We're not the first to think of that stuff, I'm sure. So, and there has been mistaken identity. I saw a few cases of that in my research. So it does happen. And that is one of the drawbacks for sure. So thank you for that, uh, Mel Mel. You're welcome, Rob. Thank you. So, welcome. Let's now go to Elizabeth Bade. And she's not at Procter & Gamble tonight. She's in Papua New Guinea. Go ahead. <laughs> thank you, Rob. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, everyone. How are you all? Uh, good morning from PNG. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Mel, I, I was just thinking if their names will be okay to identify those uh, twin uh, identical children. What do you think of that? Maybe the name should be okay to identify that. Their names. So I'm pretty sure they won't have the same kind of names. They'll have to have different names. I don't know because blood samples can be mistaken, right? Dates on, okay. names on can be mistaken one for the other. When I worked okay. in the, when I was in the medical lab techni um, technician, technical assistant um, area, there were mistakes done. So, yeah, I'm not oh. saying the negative, but I'm just saying what if, you no? Know? <laughs> what if? Okay, what if? <laughs> That's all. All right. I, 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 I just want to share. What uh, if with regard to facial recognition? Yeah. Uh, there's no doubt about Rob, it. it mistaken identity. Rob, I, I just want to share my experience with the facial recognition. Uh, yeah. Just recently, I went down to Brisbane and I came across a situation where the PNG passports did not agree with what they were doing there with the facial recognition. And I had to go and join up another queue for them to, I think it was manually confirmed that it was really me. So maybe in some cases, it, <laughs> they don't really work. So that's, that's what I want to share today. All right, well, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank I, you. I agree with that 100%. Uh, you know, the, every, each and every system has its own uh, issues. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. The deeper we go with this AI stuff, the, the more we're gonna find Maybe this isn't good. Maybe that isn't good. But you know what? By doing that, it will it will refine and make things better. So right. that's good. Uh, AI's got a lot to offer to us, and I'm, I'm glad it's here. Uh, so let me uh, scroll through and see if there's any other hands raised. I don't see any uh, in the in my list, but that's not to say you don't want to speak out there. Come on now. Talk to us about AI and facial recognition. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, Saidul had his hand up, but put it down. Let's now go to Srijit. Jana. Hello, Srijit. Welcome. Good morning to you. Hi, Rob. I appreciate you. Hello, everybody. Uh, today is an interesting topic, AI and facial recognition. Facial recognition technology, you know, is constantly evolving and artificial intelligence is playing a big role wow. in its development. AI Facial recognition is a form of biometric identification, you know, that uses artificial intelligence algorithms to identify uh, individuals by their facial features. Sri, so could, could you, uh, excuse me, could you raise your volume a little bit? We're barely able to hear you. Uh, my volume is full. All full, I, okay. I don't know we'll why it is. Carefully then. Just need to be a little closer to the mic. Are you getting me? Go close to your mic. Uh, are you getting me? Hello? Yes. Hello? Much better, much better, much better. No. Oh, did he... Is it okay? Yeah, just speak up. Try your best to speak up. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm trying. Uh, is it much better? It is better. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to say AI facial recognition is a form of biometric identification, you know, uh, that to be used in artificial intelligence alg algorithm to identify individuals by their facial features. Security doors or gates are yet another uses of facial recognition software technology that already Gillian and uh, uh, 
Nilani already said, facial recognition technology can be applied to ticket counters at railway stations and entry to residential areas too, or even in the main gate of, uh, the, of, the, of different companies. Facial recognition using artificial intelligence is a computer vision technology that is used to identify a person or object from an image or video. It uses a combination of techniques, including deep learning, computer vision algorithm, and image processing. Facial recognition involves capturing face images from video or a surveillance camera. They are compared with a stored image in the database, and a good match is found, or a nearly high percentage of match is found, then the uh, uh, exception, exception is raised. Extended days the, the image has been compared, or otherwise it, it is uh, discarded. The technology has become increasingly popular in a wide variety of applications, such as unblocking a smartphone, unlocking a doors, uh, passport authentication, security systems, medical applications, and so on. There are even models that can detect emotions from facial expressions, etc. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much, Regent. We heard you a little bit better there as you went. So thank you for that. And uh, good morning to you in India. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Let us uh, let me do a little scrolling, see if I see a virtual hand or two. I do not. Oh, you're going to make me do it, aren't you? I see Pedro. Pedro, Jose Estrada Saladas. Go ahead, sir. I see your virtual hand. Go ahead. Yes, uh, thank you. Good evening, uh, everyone. Good morning to those uh, on the Asia side. Uh, um, I favor uh, facial recognition because uh, it makes me feel, let's say, uh, the airplane at the airports. They are they are using that. Uh, you have to take a picture a lot of times uh, of yourself before they let you board. And that, that gives you a sense of security that uh, everyone is being checked. Uh, you know, in the past we've seen incidents. So I think that is a great thing. Uh, I know uh, the uh, cell phones, uh, when you are uh, uh, creating security, they warn you that uh, that uh, is not 100% uh, secure because some people might look alike, that kind of thing. But that's that's to be expect, expected that will be cleared out. And as uh, with all the things that to make sure that something uh, is, uh, let's say, secure or safe, you have to have a double check. Never do just one, ch one, one check, not just the face. Something that has to back it up because uh, two things is more difficult to uh, to bypass instead of just one. <clears throat> but it's very convenient to have it. And I see it uh, in the future being used for attending huge events that are enclosed in stadiums or that kind of thing, where everyone getting uh, going in will be uh, required to take a, a picture. Uh, of himself uh, to know who is in there. So he gives a sense of security because of the incident that we've seen. So I treat it as a positive thing uh, that uh, that will uh, be used more and more. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you. Pedro, thank you. I'm with you 100%. I like the idea of the security at the airport. I like the idea of uh, maybe it uh, 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 football, baseball, soccer, meaning the other football events, basketball events, tennis matches, golf matches. I like the idea of that extra layer of maybe security. Don't just let anybody and everybody come through the gates. Uh, check them out because there's a lot of bad apples out there that want to make others' lives miserable. So we don't need to go down that road for sure. So thank you, Pedro. Thank you. Uh, let's go back to Canada and Mel, please. Go ahead, Mel, Mel. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, um, so, so, no, so sure. <laughs> facial recognition. Um, I, I like it for the fact that there's cyber crime and it's happening all the time. And I know you, you touch a little bit on that. I, that is one of the best things because 
I mean, somebody wouldn't have to be a fly on your page. Like when you have to enter into a portal or something, at least you're recognized by your real self, right? And um, number two, with everything that's happening in, um, like, you know, in homes and everything else, you know, with the police um, cameras and thing, you know, with facial recognition, in case there's a fight that is broken up, broke out on the street or wherever, in, you know, there's in clubs and thing, and they have those cameras where they recognize people coming in and going out, it's a good thing. It, it, it helps with the crime scenes and um, even where people murder, you know, I, I hate using that word, but yeah, where people kill an, um, another person, that is a good thing. It comes in handy for, you know, the criminal um, department. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm not against it at all. It's just, I was asking that question earlier, just as a con, but, um, yeah, but it's a good thing overall. Especially we, um, you know, passive, I notice more and more people are resting on my page. I say flies because they come unwanted and they just feed themselves in that space on your page. Facebook, uh, you know, want it or not. And they have their phone number and they're saying hello already. So you know that um, these people are coming as uninvited guests, right? So facial recognition, when we have on passive going, when we finally do, and even when they come on Facebook, because every platform or every social media now is incorporating these types of thing. When they have those, at least they can distinguish who is who from the other one, the other person who's one of those um, little scammers or whatever they call themselves. So it's a good thing overall. Thank you, Mel. Appreciate yeah. that. Uh, let's go back to Australia and Jillian. Go ahead, Jillian. me now yes you're audible go ahead please uh, go ahead and unmute oh can you hear me now you're audible go ahead okay great um i i agree with what everyone's being say have been saying that um facial recognition it's an added layer of identity and secure, apart from our documents, um, it's a really is an added layer of identity and security. Plus, it's protecting our lives and it's deterring um, criminal activity that seems to be a lot of criminal activity is on the rise in the world. And um, if we have this, um, this facial recognition, people can't get away with the things like what they used to do. And I was just wondering if um, in the future, if you know how we have facial recognition, but if, if in the facial recognition, if AI could collect uh, more information about us, um, then it would create a safe world. And maybe if it held, held more of the information. So something like OVerify, which verifies who we are and our documents, but if maybe if it held everything, then um, people in the future wouldn't, they would, if they knew that this was all here, then they just wouldn't maybe do things that they shouldn't be doing, perhaps. You know, for, for it to act as a deterrent is another way of looking at it. That's right. So to, if people know that they're going to be checked out before they enter into let's say a venue or let's say a, a situation, a store, a, mm. a ball game, you know, a golf match, whatever tennis match. Uh, it's a good thing. It is a deterrent. It is a deterrent. Um, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, Jillian, we want to say thank you to Mr. Francis Tay, the seafood master himself for that super sticker. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Francis. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You, you, you. All right. Uh, let me uh, check for any other hands. We do have three of our uh, deaf community here who are going to be doing sign training. And uh, before I say that, Lynn wanted to get a picture 
Uh, there's 26 of you, on, uh, 24 of you on the panel tonight. That's not too freaking shabby, if I don't say so myself. 24. Four times six is 24. Anyway, you slice it. We got 22 now, but we lost a couple people. They're All right. And there's out. 128. 128 watching on YouTube and on O-Connect. That is awesome. Good Thank you. Very good attendance. Good attendance. A good topic tonight. And we'll have another topic, uh, not tomorrow night. Uh, let me remind everybody, tomorrow is Wednesday, and we will have our uh, Q&A, roundtable Q&A, with uh, members from around the world. We'll be asking those of us who are either attendees or panelists questions. So should be fun tomorrow night, sharp at 8 o'clock, and 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So... That all being said, are we ready? Let me take one more look and make sure I'm not missing anyone's hand right now. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay, I don't see any hands at the very moment. Uh, let me go to Lynn Nakamoto for her to take that picture and a group picture, and then we'll swing on over to uh, our, our deaf community. Go ahead, Lynn. Okay, guys, ready for a group picture? Well, we still have so many here. Okay. So we're going to do I love you Inter international sign means I love you and that is the sign Everybody I love you a bushel and a peck I love you a bushel and a peck Okay That's and we're going to 1 2 Jillian you ready I love you Jillian give you a chance John too Okay John's ready David Okay 1 2 3 Oh, Sirijit, do I love you? He just came back. Sirijit, I love you. Yeah, here we go. Okay, ready? One, two, three, now. Smile. Voila. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Excellent photo, everybody. And uh, as always, uh, the photos Lynn takes will be available in the Rob Lynn Live chat on Messenger. So look for them there. There's a lot of posterity uh, res uh, restored, not restored, but stored there with all the pictures that Lynn has taken. Memories. Uh, missing Carmela tonight. I wonder, I hope she's okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's early in the morning there. She may be snoozing, which is okay. All right, let's now go to Lynn Nakamoto, who will bring on our uh, deaf community members who will uh, teach us something. Okay, we got, tonight we have three teachers. We have Cecil and we have Rachel and we have Deborah. So it's really nice to have all three here today. So, and Patty was um, trying, but she couldn't get in, but Patty tried, Patty under cola. All right, so we're gonna start with Rachel. And again, she's teaching us a different, sign language. It's not American sign language. She's teaching us French sign language. Every country has its own sign language. And the name of the French sign language is, is called LSQ. Again, that's LSQ. And we're learning that tonight. Thank you to Rachel. So let's go to the, the side view and look for Rachel, please. And everybody keep muted. All right, look for Rachel, look for Rachel. Uh, I see, I see Rachel now and I hope you all do. Great. Rachel, um, I forgot what that means again. I have a bad memory. What does it mean? Ready, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, ready, French sign language. Ready, ready, <laughs> okay. I hope I remember it for next time I always forget, sorry. He says, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, let me look at your, get your list. One minute. All right, I got it. 
Go ahead, Rachel. Four. That hand shape with your thumb on one side. All right, let's see if you guys can see it. There we go. Four. So this hand grasps the other hand like this. This hand shape grasps the other hand and goes like this. Four. 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 Oh, this, the four hand shape on the base hand. Rich. 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 Spend. This is your hand shape. Facing this way. Spend. Spend. Like you got the money and you're just giving it out. Spend. All right. I'm rich. I just spend my money like water. Spend, 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 spend. Next we have buy. This is your hand shape. Oh, mistake, mistake. Wait, let me start again. This is your base hand on the left, flat hand. This is the shape of the hand on your right hand. And you just tap your on your palm. That is um, by, by, by. That's the sign for by. By. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe this way is better. Bye. Bye. B U Y. Bye. Okay, next we have this hand shape. Sell. Sell. S E L L. Sell. To waste. Flat hand on your left and doing this. Like just wasting, wasting whatever it is, wasting, waste, next we have expensive, here is the hand shape, place it together, expensive, expensive, Nine, number nine, number nine. I think I meant new, new, okay, new. The word is new. 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 N E W. New. New. Next we have here. Here. Pointing 
downwards. Here, it's here, 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 H E R E, here. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> come here. Paper, paper, this is your base hand, and then paper, paper. Protect, protect. 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 Defend. Hand shape right here. Defend. Defend. And then we have Y, Y, W-H-Y, Y, 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 Why? Why are you spending your money like water? Why, why, why? That's it. Thank you, Rachel. You're welcome, she says. You are welcome. Okay, we go on now to, uh, let's see. We'll go to Cecil. Cecil, look for Cecil. Scroll up or down until you see Cecil. Cecil Weir. Cecil. He says, hello. Scroll up till you scroll till you see me. Scroll. Look for me. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? French Sign Language, LSQ. Ready? Ready? Okay. Okay. Cell phone. Scanners to verify phone scan. So that's the that's the camera that's scanning our face, right? Yeah, yeah correct. Phone scanner scanning the face. And next is eye scan. I Scan. I scan. I scan. I scan. Fingerprint. Into your base hand, you're doing this as if you're, you know, giving a fingerprint. You're making that fingerprint. So it's, that's why it's this fingerprint. Fingerprint. Next we have text, texting someone, text. Right, looks like we're texting. Yeah, it looks like a text. Headphones, headphones. Headphones covering your ears, so that's headphones on your head. Speakers. Speakers. Next we have speak. 
speak. Handshake, like the number four and this. Next we have picture, picture. The, number, the, the C on your cheek goes to your left hand. Picture, picture. Photocopy, photocopy. Photocopy. Radio, letter R, swirling by your ear. Radio. C, B, radio. Oh, radio. C, B, radio. CB radio. Next we have voice. The letter V on your throat going up. Voice. 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 Tell. 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 Yell. This is the hand shape. Yell. Hand shape. Yell. Listen. Letter L by your ear. Listen. Listen. Don't listen is like this. Don't listen. Don't listen. And listen. Now we have loud. 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 Coming out from your ears. Loud. Loud. Noisy, letter N, by your ears. Noisy. Noisy. And we have quiet. Q-U-I-E-T, quiet. 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 Great. Yay, thank you, Cecil. You're welcome, he says. Next, we will go on to our Debbie, Deborah Long. Come on, Debbie. Hello, everyone. Hello. Booth to a day, better than nothing. All right. Facial recognition. Facial recognition. Facial recognition. You gotta have opinion or opinion. Opinion up on your head. Identify. I. Identify. That was what we did before, if you can remember. Identify. Individual. Letter I. Individual, like a person. Individual. So still do fingerprint. I do fingerprint. Fingerprint. You have a card to access, like um, check in, punch in, all the old times. Now it's different. Also use the 
facial recognition to mask, uh, driver's license, driver's license, or passport, passport, government G, government ID. Both of the three. Driver's license, passport, government ID. They do the lot for medical, medical areas, medical education, E D, education, security purpose, security would be like um the police, the FBI to identify the body or the person they're looking for and it's private faster. That's all for tonight. Thank you, Deb. Thank, thank you very much. And we're going to do three pictures, three photographs. We're going to start with uh, Rachel, pick a sign. We're going to take a picture. She's going to pick one. Uh, I forgot. What does it mean? I forgot. It means, oh, rich. Okay. Again, again. Rich. Rich. Ready? Got that? The number four on your right hand touches your palm and goes up. Rich. Okay. Ready, you guys? One, two, three. Smile. Smile and sign. Rich. Okay, that's a nice one. Let me save it. <laughs> Rachel says hello. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, next we go to Tiso, and he's going to select a sign for us. Scan, facial scan or face scan. The, when the phone scans your face, phone. Okay. See, the phone is capturing an image of your face. Okay, it's a good one, good sign. Ready to say facial scan, okay? One, two, three. Now, here we go. I think I got it. Yep, I got you all signing that. Perfect. Okay, next we go to Deb, Debbie. Hmm, hmm, she says. Identify the letter I on your cheek and it goes to your left hand. Identify. All right, everybody got that? Identify. Are you guys ready? One, two, three, now sign, identify. Very good, nice, nice, thank you. Thank you to the three of you. Good job teaching us. <laughs> Yay. She says, you're welcome. Rachel says, you're welcome. I enjoy teaching all of you. Aw. Thank you. All right. So I think next we have JJB Tinman. Isn't that right? 
That is right to mucho. Ah, ah JJD Tin Man. All right. Okay. I'm ready. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, tonight, well, first of all, I'm just going to sing the theme song since we aren't able to, for the time being, I hope, to play it. But while we can't play it, <laughs> I'll sing it. It might be a little looser than the recording one, but that's kind of the way it is when I'm singing live sometimes, you know. Uh, well, it's okay. Anyway, here we go. Well, first of all, here comes the theme song for Robin Live. There is a show. There is a show. There is a show we all love to go to. Robin Live. Robin Live tonight. There are two hosts, they are the most. I gotta say, they're not too shabby. They ain't crappy. Ah, it's Roblin Live right now. Updates, panels, info, fun, variety talk show. It's the one, like on Passive. It's delicious, it's on Passalicious. You can get anything that you want at Ashford Farms Restaurant. Oh, yeah. Robin Live. Robin Live. It is the show we all love to go to. Woo, doggy. Robin Live. Robin Live right now. Oh, yeah. We go a little loose <laughs> i just have some fun with it anyway so now okay. all right now uh tonight just to bring up you know how i'm always mentioning you know, i try to pick a lot of uh classic songs from different time periods mostly older of course uh sometimes something a little more contemporary i don't know about right up to today too often but I'm really into uh, classic traditional songs. Sometimes I'll call it the traditional American songbook. You hear me say that. But what it really is, there's an actual term, is the great American songbook. And there's actually songs that that's why they're considered they're in that songbook. Because it's, for example, and tonight I'm going to use the classic, one of the classic songwriters for that would be Cole Porter. Oh, my goodness. One of the absolute, I always say this too, I like so many in her favorites, but anyway, uh, uh, he's a great, great songwriter from the past. His songs will always be remembered. So let me tell you about it. Night and Day. That's tonight's song by Cole Porter. It's a significant song, actually, because it's a popular song by Cole Porter. It was written in 1932. If you'll notice, a lot of these songs that I'm singing from 31, 32, 33, 30, right in the 30s a lot of the times. Great American song, but many of the songs come from that period. This was for a musical from 1932, Gay Divorce, sometimes referred to as Gay Divorcee. Uh, anyway, it's perhaps Porter's most popular contribution to the great American songbook. That's why it's so great to be singing it tonight. This might be, I don't know if it's this, well, it is very so popular to the great American songbook. It's been recorded by dozens of musicians. NPR says within three months of the show opening back in 1932, more than 30 artists, excuse me, my dentures are a little loose, uh, more than 30 artists had recorded the song. Can you believe that? Just in a couple of months. And of course, now, the person most identified with this song is Fred Astaire. Because Fred Astaire introduced Night and Day on November 29th, 1932, when Great Gay Divorced opened at the F board. Oh, man, I'm really having trouble. Forgive me. And I'm, I'm a voiceover person. Give me a break. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyhow, Gay Divorcee opened at the Ethel Barrymore Theater uh, 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 and good old Fred, he was the star of the show. Now, an interesting thing about it, which I'll get to in a moment is, uh, well, I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, 
uh, anyway, he was the star of Gay Divorcee. A week earlier at the Victor Gramercy recording studio in Manhattan, where I live, he gathered with Leo Reisman and his orchestra to make a record of two Cole Porter compositions, Night and Day, backed with I've Got You on My Mind. All was done under the dark shadow cast. Here's a little in interesting info for you. In the dark shadow cast by the 1929 stock market crash, which had spawned the Great Depression, the worst economic disaster in American history. In just over two years, record industry revenues had fallen from $100 million to $6 million. Ugh. Driving all but three companies, RCA Victor, American Record Corporation, and Columbia, out of the business. Oh, my. The single was released by Victor on January 13th, 1933. And it went on to become the top selling record of the year with 22,811 copies sold. On May 23rd, 1933, Astaire recorded it again due to an antitrust concern. There's all this interesting stuff that you would never know about some of these songs and periods of times and shows they were in by Columbia Graphophone Company, which was now a part of electric and musical industries. That's EMI, which became a well-known famous recording studio. It was released in the United Kingdom in October, Columbia, backed with After You Who, another quarter of uh, cheeks, another porter composition. I'll, I'll, I'll hold it together. Reisman under contract to RCA Victor was unable to accompany a stare on his record. It can be distinguished from the U.S. version because it is 15 seconds shorter. How would you ever find these things out if I wasn't telling you folks? <laughs> okay, another Fred Astaire version is circulating from the soundtrack of the 1934 motion picture, Gay Divorcee. Now, let me just say this now. Let me just look right over here. Uh, let me just see. Hold on a second. Um, actually, in, 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 the, in the musical version on Broadway, if you remember now, Fred Astaire is very much hooked up with ginger rogers and they starred together in this movie gay, the gay divorcee however fred astaire was the star of the broadway musical but ginger was out in hollywood making movies already fred this was his last broadway musical and then he went out to hollywood and made a whole lot of movies with not only ginger he actually partnered up with oh so many of the great lady female dancers but ginger rogers became known as his partner even though technically they were only partners well they were happy to be partners but it was because they made so many movies together those two i'll stop here because i could go on with other interesting facts but that's enough for tonight about uh this particular song it's just that it's such a great song and it is let me get to it now the gay divorcee is where it came from and the song is uh night and day let me see if i can bring up my full screen okay boy we're having luck so far my sound's even there oh boy okay well my vo i might not be talking very well but at least everything's working okay <laughs> so anyhow here we go let me clear my throat <laughs> oh all right here we go night and day oh I like the beat, beat, beat of the tom tom when the jungle shadows fall. Like the tick, tick, tock of the stately clock as it stands against the wall. Like the drip, drip, drip of the raindrops when the summer showers through. So the voice within me keeps repeating you, 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 night and day. You are the one. Only you beneath the moon and under the sun. Whether near to me or far, it's no matter, darling, where you are, I think of you night and day. 
day and night. Why is it so? That this longing for you follows wherever I go. In the roaring traffic boom, in the silence of my lonely room, I think of you night and day, night and day. Under the height of me, there's an oh, such a hungry yearning burning inside of me. And this torment won't be through till I let you to let me spend my life making love to you day and night. Night and day, night and day, under the height of me, there's an oh such a hungry yearning burning inside of me, and this torment won't be through till you let me spend my life with you. Making love to you, yeah, day and night, night and day. Yeah. There you go, folks. Thank you. Night and day. Go for it. Thank you, John. Very good. All righty, uh, a couple of reminders. Uh, let's see, tomorrow we uh, will have to look in the back office early in the morning, uh, Eastern Daylight Time, to see if there's going to be an OP360. As of now, we don't see anything in the back office with Johnson traveling and uh, Ash Mafar recovering. So at this point, we don't uh, know of one. We'll, uh, should we find out, we'll certainly post it in all our groups. Uh, also, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, look for our roundtable Q&A with our panel, and uh, that should be fun. Uh, we'll have a question for them, and then they'll have two or three questions for us. So, uh, again, thank you to everybody for being here. We hovered at the 140 mark. What? What? what, what, what you forget to say about this. I'm not done. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it, say it, say it. Don't forget that following tonight's broadcast, uh, Lynn will be rebroadcasting last night's Rob Lynn Live, and we've been getting quite a turnout on these replays. So, hey, if you're up and awake and uh, and ready to rumble, join, join us, us on, there on YouTube. And you can comment in the YouTube, which is good for the algorithm. And it's fun. And it's fun. And don't forget the hashtags, too. So again, thank you for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you, for sure, for sure. Uh, salute to all active duty military. Salute to all military reservists. Salute to all first responders. And thank you, thank you, thank you to each one of you for being here. We appreciate you very much. So thank you. All right. Well, let's all unmute, and uh, if possible, let's say bon voyage, good night, and arriba derchi. Good night. Good night, bon voyage, arriva derchi. Good night, good morning. 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 Thank you, thank you. Ah. See you, Melanie. Yeah, bye. See you, bye. Bye, Elizabeth. Bye. 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 I love bye. you all. Bye. Oh, love, love. Yeah.